I noticed uh, on your website that uh, your patients call you Dr. I. Well, no, I don't think, you know, when I practiced, you no, know, they call, they called me Dr. Iskovich if they could pronounce it right. You know, yeah. uh, and I, sp- I spoke Spanish and where I practiced, not always, cause I've done a, I went into the, really the healthcare business side, but when I practice here, like in Santa Barbara, you know, 50% of the people's surname are Spanish. So you have to be pretty good at speaking Spanish, usually some form of colloquial Mex- Mexican type of Spanish. Uh, no. So they, they, they knew how to say Angel which is a Spanish name, Iskovich. You know, the name's not a bad name uh, in in Spanish. In English, it's like Angel Leonardo Iskovich. But in Spanish, it's Angel Leonardo Iskovich. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, so it has a little bit of rhythm, right? It has a little bit of uh, a poetic sense, Angel Leonardo, you know, that kind of Argentine uh, Spanish names. But um, here it wasn't. It was only in when I uh, kind of uh, went into the corporate the corporate world and merged my company in the physician staffing and the emergency medical business that uh, one of the HR guys said, Hey, you know, I know you must feel bad. Everybody's bastardizing your name pretty badly. Iskovich, Ichkovich, Achkovich, Uncle, <laughs> you know, he said, do you mind if we just call you Dr. I, it'd just be easier. And uh, I said, sure, I don't mind. So kind of in the corporate world, that's where the Dr. I started. And, and uh, my, uh, my co-contributors and authors helping me, you know, with this book, Joe Gardner, they, they just thought that was good. And I think they wanted to, and I, I, I fight it a little bit because coming from kind of a physician background, they want to do branding with this, right? It's like, Hey, Dr. I, this is going to be great. We're going to put you between Dr. Oz and the Dr. Phil show. Right. You know? And, uh, and so uh, I think uh, really it emanates from it being easier to pronounce, you know, I mean, and it's funny. I, I remember I, for the 25 years I, I practiced emergency medicine and at the time also had was uh, the beginnings of emergency medicine. I had a staffing company who would staff emergency departments and help administrate them. It was the beginning of emergency medicine in the 80s. But I had one physician, uh, which was a great physician. I remember Nils and he obviously got a paycheck with my name and all the time, you know, Angel Iskovich, right? And Every year, he was kind of a wine connoisseur. He'd he'd send me a bottle of wine uh, with a uh, you know a holiday note, and he'd always spell my name A N H I L L, you know. And it, it could and it wasn't doing it for fun. He just never figured out how to say the name. So, so it's interesting how we're, how our names come about, and uh, um, and 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 even beyond that, uh, just uh, as a story. Um, when I grew up uh, in Los Angeles, that's where we arrived um, or landed uh, after our immigration. Um, kids would, I didn't speak English, right? So that was, you know, my, my wasn't my first language, although we learned it fairly quickly. And uh, kids made fun of my name, Angel. I grew up in kind of a tough little Italian Argentine neighborhood. I got in a few fights. Mm. And in those days in education, things always were, a bit like being conforming. And as an immigrant, at least in those days, your idea was to conform. Uh, They called my mother in that I got in a few fights and said, listen, not legally, but why don't we just change his name to George? You know, George Washington was the first president of the United States. It'll make it a lot easier if we can call him George. So they started calling me George, you know. So I guess whether it's George or Angel or Angel or Ant Hill or whatever, Dr. I is okay too. I don't understand though why Angel would be a mechanism for getting into a skirmish. Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, the name Angel is a, I think uh, at the time that I grew up in 1960 um, in Los Angeles, you know, uh, Angel, like Angela, you're an angel, you know, it's a little bit more effeminate or with the mm. boy, with the boys and you know how uh, kids will be in their, in their youth trying to learn limits. Right. Yeah. So, um, that was the thinking then. And of course, in those days, it wasn't like today, right? That, that's very unlikely to happen today to change your name. Um, so it's a, it's a, it was a different time. So um, I think the name, whatever it's worth is, you know, kind of how you have an identity. When I, went to, when I went to college, I said, hey, wait a second, this, this George name, this ain't me, you know. But I, having played sports, I have, you know, awards and 
some trophies and all these things with the name George on them, actually, you know, from, from way back. Not sure where those are, but they're pretty put away probably <laughs> somewhere. <laughs>